Williams finished day four of the second Barcelona test early as Valtteri Bottas set the fastest lap of the day on the super softs with a 123.063 in almost perfect conditions. The team are very happy with where they are at the end of testing. Sebastian Vettel set the second fastest time of the day, also on the super softs. He set a 123.469. Ferrari added some LED lights to the rear of their car, possibly to help cameras measure the distance between the floor and the wall of the tires. The smaller the gap, the better the aerodynamics. Nico Rosberg of Mercedes set the second highest tally of the day with 148 laps on the medium tyre. Despite a successful test, Rosberg says he's still not 100% happy with the car, but they know what they need to do and will be ready to nail it in Melbourne for the first race of the season. Daniel Ricciardo of Red Bull stopped at the end of the pit lane with an ERS issue. He, as well as his engineers, were spotted smelling his overalls back in the pit lane. Turns out an energy control unit started smoking near the cockpit. Jensen Button only managed 30 laps today, bringing the end to a disappointing pre-season testing from McLaren. He had a sensor problem, which meant the whole engine had to be taken out. Button set a time of 125.327 on the super softs, a whole 2.264 seconds behind Bottas on the same tires, just showing how much work they need to do. It was another promising day for Force India, Perez completed 130 laps in his first stint in the 2015 car. Lack of aero development seems to be affecting the car's pace, but seems rock solid from a reliability perspective. Force India are also in talks with Bernie Eccleston about cash flow issues. Lotus and Sauber seem to be in the same position, but all three teams insist they will be at the opening race in Melbourne in two weeks. And Felipe Nasser of Sauber did complete the most laps of the day, with 159. Pastor Maldonado crashed today at turn four just after lunch due to a brake problem, bringing their day to a close early, completing only 36 laps. They did set the slowest time today, although they were working on different setups for Melbourne. Overall, they're pleased with testing and how their upgrades correlate with their calculations back at the factory. They will be bringing more updates to Melbourne as well as the following couple of races. Max Verstappen of Toro Rosso had an engine problem which interrupted his day. They were also testing a tighter rear end package but still managed to get around 85 circuits. If you like these videos give us a thumbs up and why not subscribe for full coverage over the coming season.